Stockholm sees only six hours of daylight in the wintertime, which means Sweden needs a lot of power to keep all those unicorns alive. Yet, Sweden is also intensely devoted to going green. I would say that, that Sweden has, um, we have one of the best uh, electricity systems in, in the world today. We have very low climate footprints, we have a lot of nuclear, a lot of hydropower, and we have wind coming into the system. 40% of the electricity generation in Sweden is nuclear. That is absolutely a, an important part of the Swedish electricity system. Is it possible to get off of of fossil fuels without nuclear playing a role in it. Looking, for for example, at the IPCC reports, uh, they they also include nuclear in their um, in their scenarios for the future electricity system. If we're going to a, a net zero economy worldwide, so I think that nuclear uh, will be an important part. Back home, there's an ongoing debate about the Green New Deal, which calls for us to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions in 10 years. That means decarbonizing electricity and the entire US economy in a decade. And they want to do it without nuclear power. I don't know, it seems like a stretch for a big country like the US with a population of 330 million. But maybe Sweden, population 10 million, maybe they could do it in 10 years. It would be very, very difficult for Sweden to become carbon free uh, in that short time span. The targets that have been set now for 2045 is that is more realistic because then you have a number of years in order to, to change technology and develop and to, to get the, the uh, systems working. But of course, we also have those voices in Sweden, people wanting to go much, much further and faster. Uh, but still, um, you need to have a sort of a re realistic time span on, on how to actually make this. I would imagine that a lot of the people wanting it to go faster aren't necessarily working in the lab developing the technology. To no, mm -hmm. so I think even though you could wish that it would move f faster, uh, it will unfortunately take some time even for a country like Sweden to, to become climate neutral.